Hello, I'm Gary Rays of Remax Integrity here in Eugene, Oregon, part of Lane County. And today's topic is, what? I got five offers on my home, what do I do? And now back to our topic. Hey, you got five offers on your home, what should you do? Well, we're gonna talk about five little quick things that you, hopefully your realtor knows and you know as well, so you can make this process as seemingly easy as possible. First of all, you need to stay organized. And what I mean by that is you need a spreadsheet of some type so you can list all five offers in a row and have certain criteria that you want to check side by side. That's going to make it the process much easier. Uh, number two, you want to, your realtor probably has enough knowledge to put a sense of urgency on your listing. And by doing that, they say, they'll say, Hey, we're taking all offers. We're going to review all offers by such and such time. This gives all the brokers an equal chance to get their offer in by a certain date and it also provides a sense of urgency for the buyers. The third thing that you might want to think about is have your realtor get all the information they can on each and every one of those people that put in an offer. And what I mean by that is when you put line things up side by side, you're going to want to know if it's a cash sale, if it's uh, if if it, a buyer has to sell their property to buy yours. That's an important feature. That's called a contingency. Those would not be as welcomed as a cash offer, offer of course, because for the obvious reasons. Uh, then have your realtor speak with a loan officer of each and every one of those uh, offers to make sure that they truly are not at the very top and the chances of it going through would be uh, improved if, if the loan officer tells you that. So that's an important feature. The other thing is don't cut ties with the other offers. In other words, uh, once you have decided upon the offer that you're going to accept, ask the second and third place offers if they're wishing to put in what they call a backup offer. Now a backup offer has some advantages to them because it locks other people out from competing when if if and when the first offer goes astray, they be, they get into first position. So it's it's an advantage to them and it's also an advantage to you because you know you have another offer in case this one fails. Now that's assuming that they don't find an, another house before this one uh, goes in the by the wayside. So those are those kinds of things that your realtors should indeed know. Now, if they do not have a spreadsheet, we already have one that is developed, especially for multiple offers, and you are welcome to contact me. There is no fee, and uh, I will send you a copy and you can give it to your realtor for a, uh, a spreadsheet to, to help you with those. So that's my story today. There are multiple offers going on out there because the inventory is so small. And so for the, the seller, it's nice to get multiple offers, but you also need to, to look into the details of each and every one of those offers to make sure and it's, that you're getting the, the best scenario. It's not always about the best price. Okay, so until next time, I'll talk with you soon. If you have any questions, simply email me at GaryRays at Remax.net or you can give me a call 541-554-5825. Okay, you take care.